Good morning, guys. We're back here, and welcome to the vlog. This is vlog number 73, and it is 8.01 on Wednesday, October 16th. So how's everyone doing? So, what are we talking about today? Went through my brain, trying to go through some of the files of stuff I remember, which is not much. My memory kind of sucks. Um, but today, what we're going to go through is we're going to talk about a couple things that we used, I used to do on sort of vacation. So during the summer... Um, I might have mentioned it before. Parents are divorced. So, you know, makes it a little wonky. Every week I switch back and forth uh, between different houses. But uh, sometimes one of the things we like to do, we're, we were located in western North Carolina, about an eh, hour, an hour and a half from Pigeon Forge, uh, like Gatlinburg, all that area, a uh, big touristy area. So we like to go up there. I wouldn't say for summer vacation, but like for trips in the summer. Uh, it wasn't always vacation. It was all, sometimes it was just like we have a free weekend. Let's go do something kind of thing. Uh, and we like to go to Dollywood. Dollywood's fine. Um, I have no problem. I like roller coasters a lot. Um, does get kind of stale. Uh, rides don't change very much. Uh, they might put in one new one a year. And when your family wants to go like four times, five times, there's only so much to do when you're a kid. Like you, you the shows don't really interest. Like a I don't know how old. I'd, probably been eh, somewhere like 10 to 12 year old like you want to ride roller coasters and the same roller you can only ride the same roller coaster like nine times before uh you know it gets kind of stale and old but that's some of the stuff we did uh it was fun uh we we always got like season season passes for uh christmas uh from the grandparents so we would always go use them uh for dollywood or i think it's called splash mountain the water water side um, and it was fun. Uh, it was a good time spending with family. Uh, you know, it's not no Six Flags like, like size wise, but they had some pretty pretty good rides. Uh, Mystery Mine was one of the ones that was pretty new when uh, I used to go. And then, oh man, uh, there was the wood. There's a wood one. I want to say it's like Thunder Mountain. I don't think that's right. Um, but they had some pretty cool ones, and it was always fun, uh, bumper cars and, like, this is and that. Uh, usually, especially if you got, like, during the right, right time of year, uh, there'd be not many people there. So you could, uh, just as a kid, ride the same ride over and over if there was no one in line, and there was a cool person uh, directing. We wouldn't have to get off, so we could just keep riding and riding and riding, which was pretty fun. But that was Dollywood. Uh, it was a fun thing we did. You know, we got to see some glass blowing, and... The more I got older and would go, uh, the more I appreciated some of the shows and, like, the live music and all that kind of stuff that, as, like, a 10-year-old, you don't really care about. You're, you're, you're trying to get to the next ride and uh, run your parents ragged. And then as our parents let us, like, go do our own thing, uh, it became more fun when we didn't. We weren't dragging them around. They can do whatever and we could do whatever. So that was kind of some of our summer, at least on my dad's. Uh, and then, you know, we always had, like, a once a year we'd go out of town and go to the beach or, you know, whatever we might do. I think beach was pretty much what we'd do because in the mountains there's not a lot to do. Anyways, uh, that, that was summer vacation. Uh, nothing very exciting. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we would do because a lot of the times our summers were spent uh, doing yard work uh, as a kid. Especially for my dad and stuff, because we mowed a lot of yards, uh, and we would get, you know, paid an allowance uh, to go mow them, which was always good as a kid because you know I'm pretty tight with my money, uh, so whatever money I got, I would hoard away. And then when I became, you know, 16 or 17 and started working on my car or wanted to go do stuff, I had a nice savings. And then when I decided at the age of 23 to uh, move out to where I am now, I had enough money to really, uh, you know, put the payments down. Between me and my wife, we got, you know, put our payments down in our apartment, uh, get all that situated. Uh, it takes money to move out here, gas, and then, you know, you need new furniture once you get out here. We didn't have a couch. Well, we had a couch. We just didn't move our couch because it was my parents' couch when we left. And it wasn't in very good condition. They had it for probably six years, and then we had it for another two, and it was kind of falling apart. And uh, when we moved, we had a one trailer we brought, like one. It's like when you'd put motorcycles in to haul them. 
uh, and it was wasn't the biggest one, but we had it so like crammed full of crap that because we'd made the whole trip uh, at one time. So between uh, my truck, my wife's car, no, she didn't, no, yeah, she had her new car, uh, my wife's car, and my stepdad's truck carrying the trailer, we had to pack up a whole one and a half bedroom apartment and bring it out to Raleigh. So uh, the couch wouldn't have fit. There would have been no way if we would have had to load that in there. We had it so crammed with other crap, um, like bookshelves and this shelf and my computer and uh, bed and mattress and, you know, all the other things you need. Uh, but, yeah, all the money that we saved up from or that I saved up from uh, working almost every summer uh, really paid off uh, when I went to move. Uh, cause I, I don't know, it probably cost us three or $4,000 to move out here between paying for gas, uh, apartment insurance, uh, first month's rent, uh, you know, all this other stuff we might, might've had done. There's probably a security deposit and like, a uh, an application fee and, you know, all those other things that you have to, uh, do when you move an apartment all the stupid fees that come in that they don't tell you about until you're uh signing your lease and all that jazz anyways guys that's been summers uh maybe we'll dive deeper maybe into uh you know what i did like the jobs i did during summer maybe next time um i had to dive deep this morning not really awake yet uh, i've been up since i don't know 6 30 but i was not not very awake i still have that uh early morning very groggy voice going on uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.